A contentious four hours as Governor Snyder answers questions under oath about Flint's water crisis. You know, at some point... When the water changed color to brown and orange, your administration said the water was safe. When people reported rashes, hair loss, odor, and even sewage, your administration said the water was safe. I didn't learn of that until 2016. Today, both Governor Snyder and the head of the EPA taking some tough questions before Congress. Yeah, the theme, how did the problem in Flint go ignored for so long? Local 4 defender Kevin Dietz joins us from our nation's capital. And Kevin, did the hearing provide any new answers into who knew what and when? I think it did. Uh, as we saw, a lot of the questions were heated, but a lot of the questions were also about emails. And the reason for that is because Congress does not believe that the governor did not know about the problems in Flint when so many members of his staff knew for months. So getting him on the record about what he knew about these emails was key today. And mistakes is just a total understatement. Members of Congress made it clear Governor Snyder should have stepped in and stopped using Flint water way back in 2014 when it was discolored and smelled bad. If uh, somebody gave me water that looked like urine and had a smell to it, I'm sorry, I, you know, maybe, maybe your standard is different. I wouldn't want my family drinking it and I wouldn't want to be drinking it. An email paper trail was presented showing multiple close advisors of Governor Snyder knowing about bacteria, legionnaires, and lead for more than six months before a state of emergency was issued. Your delay sickened an untold number of additional people. I, I believe this is a national disgrace and a national scandal. Dozens of emails from Rick Snyder's yeah, chief of staff, scary. Dennis Munchmore, showing a growing and serious concern for Flint residents. Are you saying that the people you entrusted and you pay a salary with the taxpayers' money, that they failed to inform you of a health crisis in your state? The governor answered every question, even though most members of Congress didn't like his answers. I was aware of water problems, and I was involved in having discussions to address those in terms of the resources we had currently available to us. And criminal investigators were also paying very close attention to the testimony today and what was said under oath. They will use today's testimony and testimony that they took on Tuesday when deciding what criminal charges, if any, to bring as a result of the Flint water crisis. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. All right, Kevin, and tonight on Nightly News, hear more about Snyder's testimony on the Flint water crisis. That's at 6.30 immediately following Local 4 News at 6.